সুপ্রিয় দর্শক আপনাদেরকে অনেক অনেক স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি উইথ শাইক সিরাজ অনুষ্ঠানে এই অনুষ্ঠানে আমি বিশেষ এবং খুবই গুরুত্বপূর্ণ অতিথিদের আমন্ত্রণ জানাই মাঝে মাঝে এবং তাদের সঙ্গে কথা বলি নানা জরুরি বিষয় নিয়ে আপনারা সবাই জানেন যে নেদারল্যান্ডসের সাথে বাংলাদেশের কূটনৈতিক সম্পর্কের পঞ্চাশ বছর পূর্ণ হয়েছে এটি নিঃসন্দেহে একটি গৌরবময় ইতিহাস উভয় দেশের জন্য বাংলাদেশকে একটি স্বাধীন দেশ হিসেবে একদম প্রথম দিকে যারা স্বীকৃতি দিয়েছিল তাদের মধ্যে নেদারল্যান্ডস অন্যতম এই অনুষ্ঠানের মাধ্যমে আমি নেদারল্যান্ডসের সকল নাগরিককে ধন্যবাদ আর কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই আজ আমাদের দুদেশের কূটনৈতিক সম্পর্ক স্মরণ করার পাশাপাশি বাংলাদেশ নেদারল্যান্ডসের বিভিন্ন যৌথ কর্মকাণ্ড নিয়ে আলোচনা করার জন্য চ্যানেল লাইভ স্টুডিওতে আমন্ত্রণ জানিয়েছি বাংলাদেশে নিযুক্ত নেদারল্যান্ডসের মাননীয় রাষ্ট্রদূত অনে ভ্যান লোভেনকে ওয়াম ওয়েলকাম টু স্টুডিও আই ডোন্ট নো ওয়েদার আই স্পেল প্রপারলি ডোন্ট গুড আফটারনুন টু ইউ অনারেবল কিংডমস অফ দ্য নেদারল্যান্ডস অ্যাম্বাসেডার টু বাংলাদেশ ইউর এক্সেলেন্সি অ্যান্ড ইভ্যান লোভেন মাই ফার্স্ট কোয়েশ্চেন আফটার বাংলাদেশ ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্স ইন নাইনটিন সেভেন্টি ওয়ান দ্য কিংডম অফ দ্য নেদারল্যান্ডস ওয়াজ ওয়ান অফ দ্য ফার্স্ট কান্ট্রি টু রিকগনাইজ বাংলাদেশ অ্যাজ এ nation and to set up diplomatic ties which has passed the 50 years mark quite remarkable how do you evaluate this long relationship between two countries well thank you very much for having me in, in this interview sir um, i'm delighted to be here i've been here now for eight months in the country this is my first interview on television but i'm delighted to have it with you <laughs> oh yes my pleasure <laughs> and uh, Coming back to your question, indeed we have been celebrating 50 years of friendship and cooperation earlier this month. Um, a, a month ago exactly, on the 11th of February, we commemorated that we established diplomatic relations in 1972, just shortly after Bangladesh had uh, gained its independence. That's great. Um, and when we look, out, look back to those five decades of friendship and cooperation, the first remark that I would like to make is that, that um, we can look back at a kind of Bangladeshi miracle uh, 50 years ago when, when your country became independent. It was one of the poorest countries in the world and now you're about to graduate to a middle income country. And this is remarkable. The economic growth that has been achieved by Bangladesh is tremendous. Even more remarkable when you take into account that during the independence war you had about 65 to 70 million people yeah. in Bangladesh. Now yes. you have 100 70. million more. Yeah. 100 million more and the economic growth. So that's remarkable. And the Netherlands has always been shoulder to shoulder with, with yeah. Bangladesh. And um, uh, we have this, this friendship, this, co this cooperation, and we recognize each other. Bangladesh and the Netherlands have so much in common. And um, so I look back to 50 years, really, of friendship and cooperation and, and working together in harmony and with big successes in the first place, of course, uh, thanks to all the achievements of the people of Bangladesh who are so industrious and entrepreneurial and have such a can-do spirit. Women empowerment is a big. Exactly. Women empowerment. Yeah. Both our countries are situated in a delta of big rivers. Bangladesh has developed and approved the BDP 2100. Which aspects of delta management to your recommended the GOB to prioritize to ensure it will succeed in implementing this plan? The BDP 2100, the Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100, uh, has been uh, developed some time ago. And um, the Netherlands has been instrumental in providing technical assistance and know-how. Uh, as I said, Bangladesh and the Netherlands, what we have in common, we are countries with plains mm. and through the plains they flow big wide rivers. Uh, I must say the rivers in Bangladesh are quite of a different size and shape and, and dimension than the rivers in the Netherlands, but the issues are similar. That we are prone to flooding and that the rising sea level it can be a threat, climate change is kicking in and uh, we have found each other, Bangladesh and the Netherlands, in working on developing the Delta Plan. The Delta Plan is a typical Dutch term. We, we developed it in the 1950s after we had a big flood and decided it's time that we invest big time in improving our infrastructure and making our country si safe for uh, the, the influences of the sea and the storms. 
Now we have an extra factor in, which is of course climate change and rising sea mm. levels and unpredictable weather. So it's adamant that the, that the, the Delta plan in Bangladesh uh, has been developed and now the next step is to implement it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good plan on paper and we need to, to go a step further and be practical and implement the things. And the Netherlands is, is a willing partner to work and advise here. In Delta Plan 2100, there's so many components. Yes. Uh, agriculture, climate change, huge, isn't it? So after implementing, do you think it will be, uh, it will, uh, uh, it will be big achievements, I believe? It's enormous. It's enormous. Uh, it, it really is a, a plan that affects the whole country. It's not only in the Zundrobans or near the, near, near the Bay of Bengal. It has repercussions all over the place. It, I mean, even the, 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 the climate change is, of course, also an effect on what happens in the Himalaya and how yeah, are the, river, yeah. the big rivers uh, coming to Bangladesh. Exactly. So it is a countrywide program. It's an integrated program. It's a multi-sectoral program that is, has repercussions for the whole country. Because all the 170 million people living here in Bangladesh, one way or another, they yeah. have to, uh, to work with water and, and recognize that they are living in a delta. And so this will be a billions and billions investment that has to be done. And um, it, makes the, it makes the country safe against the water. And it makes us also resilient and, and more productive in the agricultural sphere. It's all yes. connected. We know that for a sustainable response to climate change, an integrated approach that includes water and agriculture is vital. How will Bangladesh and the Netherlands share innovation and technology to our mutual benefit? The Netherlands is world class in agriculture. Yeah. We are the second largest exporter of agricultural yeah. products in the world, only second to the United States of America. It's unbelievable that this country, which is, I guess, one quarter of the, uh, uh, the surface area of, yeah. of Bangladesh, you are four times bigger than the Netherlands, ten times our population. But we are very effective and very efficient in our agricultural production. And that is something that we yeah, are exporting all over the world. That, uh, I've seen the agriculture technologies, their innovations, their yeah. innovations. Yeah. So there's way, uh, uh, there's world to be won by Bangladesh in getting the transfer of knowledge, our assistance and expertise. Mm -hmm. and, and that is, uh, it's knowledge to knowledge, yeah, the universities and academias that can work together. It's government to government yeah. and it's also business to business. So we are happy to provide our Dutch expertise in the private sector, in the non-governmental sector and in the academia to Bangladesh and work together so that also there is a improvement in productivity and efficiency in the agricultural sector here. What is your take on trade and investment in Bangladesh as uh, Bangladesh graduation to a middle income country is becoming more robust and mature? Absolutely. Um, Bangladesh, as I said earlier, has made tremendous progress during those 50 years and now you're about to become a middle income yeah. country. Yeah. And that means that we as the Netherlands that have has been a, a staunch partner in particularly development cooperation, official development assistance, is now we are having the discussion, what are we going to do? Discussions with, of course, our Bangladeshi friends and partners. Is this official development assistance still the way to go? And the answer is no. I mean, uh, we, we look forward to a new phase in our okay. cooperation in which the one liner is we going from aid to trade, which means that there is less of this official development assistance and more a uh, cooperation in the private sector on, on, uh, on trade and investments. And that is to the mutual benefit of both countries. It's a win-win that we are uh, okay. seeking. Yes. What is your thought on stimulating business opportunities for women? Skill development, uh, giving young and bright entrepreneurs an opportunity to lead future Bangladesh and the world. Earlier this week, we celebrated uh, International Women's Day. It yeah. was on the March 8th. 8th of March. Yeah. And I was, uh, I was fortunate to attend an event in which uh, representatives from the, the financial sector, the banking sectors, hire people in, in, the, in the banks, private banks, as yes. well as the, the Bangladesh Bank, Lizzie attended. Lizzie. Yeah. That was an important session in which we all agreed that access to finance for women mm. is key. I mean, this is 50% of the population that, that is, is willing 
to participate in, in, in the private sector and should get those chances. It, it's important from, let's say, a human rights point of view. I mean, you cannot leave the, uh, half of the population behind. But it's also good for the economy. It's, it's a good market and, and they can contribute. So um, we are happy to assist in, in improving that and particularly access to finance for women is something that uh, I think is, is in the interest of, of Bangladesh, again, because it's, it's, good, it's good business and it's, it's a human rights thing as well. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for your valuable time today. Uh, we hope we'll have you at Chan Live once again to discuss on different issues another day. Till then, goodbye and thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure.